Wonson. Hello everyone. <laughs> My name is Melvin and today I, along with Tessa, Melissa, Ezra, and Ferris, want to take you all on a short but hopefully exciting journey into the very parts of our countries, Malaysia <coughs> and Indonesia. I want to say this is actually quite an ambitious thing to do because how do you actually capture the cultural essence of a country in one showcase? After so much discussion, so much debate, ladies and gentlemen, we are excited <laughs> to actually bring to you all today skin puppets. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, skin puppets. I said skin puppets, or what we call in our native tongues, why I'm code, the literal now, we're going to put on a show for you all today of skin puppets. And some of you are probably wondering at this stage right now. That sounds strange. <laughs> some may think, perhaps that sounds a bit scary. But I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, the reality is far from imagination. You see, skin puppets is a traditional form of theater that can be found in our countries that dates back ages. And it's actually a very distinct and very notable kind of uh, theater because it employs shadow to create epic stories. It brings them to life. Specifically, you have these masters who use these puppets and they project an enemy behind this screen that's usually lit by an oil lamp. And then they create these stories. And what's really, really amazing is that if you've seen one of these shows, like what we're about to put on today, you won't forget that. Because it's just so unique of an experience. The very act of making the puppets themselves is also an art because it's such an intricate process. And they're called skin puppets because usually they're made out of animal skin. <laughs> well, with that being said, the, the, make the process of making it usually is something that's passed down generations after generations in family secrets. So why did we choose skin puppets? Why? Because we believe that skin puppets capture the very nature of our countries. Because our countries are places known to be rich of, of stories to tell. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to tell you all one such story. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. <laughs> <laughs> Flying cards could be so difficult. Hey, Ezra, what are you doing? Hi, Melissa. I'm trying to fly my new kite, but it won't work. Oh, I used to fly a kite a lot with my grandpa. Let me show you how to do it. Yes, please. So, you just need to make sure that the wind is in the same direction as the launcher, and now you slowly release the kite. Wow, that wasn't so difficult after all, but I couldn't have done it without your help. Thank you, Melissa. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> 